So that pretty much set the precedence, as in, but I'd um, already met people who were in the regiment I was in at the time. Um, it was later on I transferred to another regiment, but the regiment I went in, um, there was a guy, um, a couple of guys around our, in workshop that I was playing football with, um, who pretty much gave me a thing called a committal card. And basically, when I went into training, into basic, I used that, and that was the regiment I was going in. Mm-hmm. He knew about me from the early days. He knew exactly what I was going to do. He told me what to expect, but sometimes you forget all that because of what you're doing, but you slowly but surely um, through a bit of, I don't know, a bit of um, a readjustment, you slowly but surely move in the right direction. And um, and why do you think that so little people pass the first stage of the recruitment process in in the basic training? I I reckon the the reason is is because people don't expect it to be maybe as demanding or they just some people just can't deal with the whole thing of being told what to do um, some people can't handle the fact that they're tested and it tests you and it tests you and it, it's designed to sort of like get you to I know now is and it's designed to sort of like make you uh, find out the way you are um, whether you've got the the aptitude, the mentality, um, the physicality to move forward and go on tour, because that's what we all serve to do, is go on and do our job. And some people just can't change in terms of, um, there's a fair lot, you know, there's a fair amount of leniency now. Um, so standards within the army um, have tend to not change to suit, but, is, you know, become more sort of like suited towards the generation at this time so you know I'll talk about a, a snowflake generation but as in you know, it's, it's moving forward with obviously technologies um, turn people into people who reliant on something rather than when you didn't um, at the time that I joined the army I wasn't reliant on technology I was reliant on mm-hmm. going play golf playing football doing all that and then all of a sudden all these kids that are coming in, they're pretty much just so reliant on doing their um, PlayStations and stuff like that. So it's, it depends on their sort of like attitude towards that. I think it can be more demanding now mentally. You certainly had to have a certain amount of intellect to get in the army, and you certainly had to have certain grades to get in certain parts of the army. I don't think it's as lenient now. I think it's quite harder in that retrospect that you have to be educated. And I think that's just gone tenfold with um, everything outside of the army. So any civilian job has gone, you know, you have to have a level of qualifications now to do certain yeah. jobs. And I think it's, there's a minimum standard across and we're pretty much in line with all that. What is the Simrip? 